So welcome to uh, New York Comic Con. Just in time for Halloween, where Hasbro is proud to announce the uh, the introduction of the Combiner Team and Terracons. Up here in front, we've got Ripper Snapper, Cutthroat, Sinner Twin, and Blob. This guy turns into an ogre, two-headed monster, kind of a bird-like, evil bird-like creature, and a land shark, because you can never have enough Decepticon land sharks. But up here in the back is their leader. His name is Hunger, with three R's, because he's just that hungry for disaster. As we move across the table, you'll see uh, the special edition Grotusque. Now, this figure was just revealed today, and it was just put up on HasbroToyShop.com for sale. Uh, he includes a deluxe paint job, as well as a uh, exclusive Titan Master diecast uh, with diecast parts, Scorpionock. So, fans of, of the big Titan will be able to get the small collectible Titan Master, only available with Grotusque. And this will be Hasbro Toy Shop only? That's well, it's right now Hasbro Toy Shop only. Yep, uh, available at Toys R Us next month. As we move down the table, we've got some nice reveals from the, the Legends class. A reissue of Scrapnel, uh, as well as Wind Charger. Wind Charger, this one's especially cool because this is a, this is a new, brand new tool based off of the G1 model sheet. So you'll see his head is extremely G1, as, as fans have seen him in the cartoon, and he actually seats uh, Prime Master inside. We can show you what the car looks like uh, closed up. There you go. It's got that cool 80s feel. In the back, we have a mysterious set of wings that flew in here just in time for Halloween. No news on what those are for yet, but I think fans might have an idea about the, the beastly details on that and, um, and what those might actually mean for the future of Power of the Primes. Quite a wingspan on that. <laughs> and next we have the leader class, uh, Rodimus Unicronus. Now Rodimus Unicronus is, has been possessed by the power of the Matrix of Chaos. And last but not least, we have the smallest and most powerful members of the new Power of the Primes line, the Prime Masters. First up, we have Landmine, who comes with Alpha Trio, who is a Prime Master that controls the power of knowledge and understanding. Uh, next, we have Metalhawk. Metalhawk comes with the Prime Master of Vector Prime, and his spark allows him to travel through time. And last, we have Submarauder. Submarauder comes with the Prime Master, Alchemist Prime, who is able to look at the molecular level of, of, uh, of, of cybernetic technology. No, going to be around forever. It's not. Get him in there when you can. Yeah, I will say, we'll probably get at least another 10 years out of him. Nope. 